Hi, I'm Jesso. I found a spiritual home in Heart of God Church. Here, I'm trained, loved, and believed in. Growing up, I did not come from the best background. When I was three, my dad passed away from a serious sickness. So, my mom had to take care of my siblings and I. She worked at a coffee shop from morning to night. However, it wasn't enough. She could not afford enough beds, so at night, I would sleep on the floor with a pillow. My wallet only had $2 a day for emergencies. Once, my friends were talking about buying a new pair of shoes. I smiled and pretended I was going to buy them too. Uh, deep down, I know I could not afford them. I felt so inferior to my friends. I wonder if my family would run out of money one day. I felt so scared and helpless. When I was 12, I stepped into Heart of God Church. As I worshipped, I encountered God. I just felt Him telling me that He loves me so, so much. The people in church have always looked out for me. In my studies, in my character, and even in my family. My pastors have given me practical help through a monthly allowance from church. I am so grateful. Truly, I found a spiritual home. However, living conditions in my own house weren't the best. I struggled to find a place to study, rest, or even pray. I really didn't like going for I always stay out as late as possible and hang out around the basketball courts. And that's why I love church. The safest and happiest place I know. Then, COVID-19 happened and suddenly I, I couldn't go at all. And I was stuck at home all day. There was hardly any space, and so I had to hide in a corner to answer my Zoom calls. Every night, I would lay on my sofa, look at pictures of church and my friends. It was a tough time for me. I really felt like crying. I miss church so much. When Pastor Hao and Pastor Leah heard Jessel's story, they felt so much for him. One of the first things they said was, let's do a makeover for his room. Jessel has been receiving a monthly allowance from church, so this makeover was going to be on top of all of that. I was there when we shared the news with Jessel, and at the start, he was silent. You could see that he was just letting the news sink in. And after a while, he said, no one has ever gone so far to help us. He was just so touched. And as I sat there, I was cheering as well. I could really feel Pastor's heart for Jessel. I didn't expect how hard it would be to pack my room. Yup, I packed my room. Honestly, it was very, very tough. I thought it would just take one week, but we took many, many weeks. I even found my primary school worksheets. For the first time in my life, I learned how to be organized. One, two. All this time, Jesso only owned second-hand items. He would even think of buying his own clothes. So Pastor Howe and Pastor Leo really wanted Jesso to be a part of the makeover process. They wanted to empower him to make decisions. So he could choose his own furniture, his bed sheets, and even his favourite colours for the walls. So it was so much fun when we went for a shopping trip to Ikea. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It was exciting to see how my whole room is coming together. But beyond that, I felt the generosity of the people in church. Unlike many of his peers, Jester didn't have his own laptop. Especially during COVID-19, online learning was difficult for him. When the church found out about it, a donor came forward and gave Jester a brand new laptop. It's so cool. <laughs> wow. I can't describe how grateful I am. I can now use the laptop for online learning and to study. Also, I dream to do videos in church. And it is the perfect model for it. Now, I can serve God with it. I truly cannot describe how grateful I am. Over the next few weeks, Jessel's room started to transform. Church did a makeover for Jessel's room and also the living room. 
Over seven weeks, we painted the walls, rewired the cables, assembled all the new furniture. We also added a dining set in the living room. Finally, the makeover was completed. Yep, so this is my room. My favorite part is actually the bed. My mattress seems to be very thin, and now I can sink into my bed. It's very comfortable. On this bed, I had the best sleep ever. I was shocked when I woke up with no back aches. Now, this is the place where I study, pray, read my Bible, and I can even invite my friends over. Previously, my family hardly spent time together. We were not very close. But now, we have a new sofa, and for the first time, we have a dining table. We had our first family dinner in many years. I felt so happy. The most memorable part of this entire journey was when we took a family photo together. The last time we had a picture together was when I was seven years old. And now, our house has become a home. I am so grateful to everyone who has helped me. I thank God for bringing me to Heart of God Church. When I lost my dad at three, my family was poor and I had nothing of my own. I never imagined my life could turn around. But since I was 13, I was given a monthly allowance from HCS. I only had hand-me-down clothes, an old phone, and had to borrow a laptop. Now, all that has changed. God is so good. Thank you Pastor Hao and Pastor Leo for looking out for me ever since I stepped into church. Even as the church is growing bigger, the heart has always been for others and for individuals like me. Also, thank you everyone who have helped me with the makeover. You are all so patient to guide me. To all of you who have given to HCS, thank you. Through your giving, my life has changed. You inspire me to be a generous giver and give to others too. Most of all, I want to thank God. All my life, He has been faithful. Through it all, I have seen God's goodness in my life.